All right, today's video is about how hard we can make our wood. Wood, you filthy animals. There are a number of ways to harden wood. You can simply let it dry out, season it to reduce the water content. You can fire harden it, which does the same thing except faster. You can lacquer it, etc. Uh, what about much more efficient methods that can dramatically increase the hardness of wood? There's an article in the material science journal Matter, Volume 4, Issue 12, Hardened Wood as a Renewable Alternative to Steel and Plastic. I'm intrigued by this concept. I think it has a lot of potential. I also have a few criticisms of the study. By the way, if you like hard wood, maybe you'd like to finger it. Put it on your finger, I mean. I'm talking rings, okay? from the sponsor of this video, Thorum, in particular. They are unique rings handcrafted in the shop in Tampa, Florida. And they're all kinds of cool materials. You've got ironwood, whiskey barrel, oak, Hawaiian koa, redwood, even fossilized dinosaur bones. And uh, plenty of other materials as well. Pattern welded steel, titanium, tungsten, meteorite. So they're all combined in very creative and visually stunning ways. You can get a set of sizers to determine your exact measurements and those are detachable you can wear them for a while to really make sure that this is the most comfortable for you and if it still doesn't fit you can also exchange it for a new ring uh, what I've got here a really nice ring I quite like this uh, very comfortable looks great and um, highly recommend it so check it out links in the description down below and uh, thank you very much Caleb for supporting the channel all right, so wood consists of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Cellulose is the most common organic polymer used to produce paper, mainly. It's a crystalline straight-chain polymer with high tensile strength, which is the resistance to pulling forces. In other words, how hard it is to tear. Uh, hemicellulose is an amorphous cross-link polymer with lower strength, used, for example, in the form of agar to make jelly or pudding. Lignin is also cross-linked polymer and fills the place in plant cell walls between cellulose, hemicellulose, and other components. It has been described as natural glue holding plant fibers together. So what the researchers did is they took basswood, which is one of the softest types of wood, softer than white pine. They boiled it in a chemical solution for a couple of hours to partially remove lignin and hemicellulose. At this point, it became soft and pliable, kind of like soaked leather. Uh, then they machine compressed it at room temperature, which condenses it and removes water. And then they heated it to fully dry, and uh, finally they soaked it in oil to give it water resistance. So the result is much denser and thinner. The channels that transport water and nutrients in the live tree are almost gone. The natural defects like voids or pits are minimized by this method. And the resulting hardness on the Brunel scale is 31.21, which is 23 times harder than what it was before treatment. So just imagine applying this same process to hardwoods like hickory, ash, or even exceptionally hard types like ebony or ironwood. Now, obviously, if you, you start out with a wood that's already much harder, then it's not going to increase it by 23 times. At least I can't imagine that since it's already very dense to begin with. All right, so what's the potential of this hardened wood? Well, in this article here, in typical journalist fashion, they exaggerate and misrepresent with a headline of Researchers make wood stronger than steel. Yeah. Could it really rival steel in any way? So, unfortunately, there are different methods to measure hardness for different materials. And uh, for wood, you usually use the Jenka scale. And the Brunel scale is used in metallurgy and you can't directly convert from one to the other. But there are some Brunel hardness measurements for some types of wood. What I found was oak, which has a Brunel hardness of four. So if you could actually make it 23 times harder, then the Brunel hardness would be at 92 
my guess is it's probably closer to say 15 times harder which would be maybe around 60. okay so brunel hardness of 60 mild steel is 120. so that's twice as much even if we assume that it's still 23 times harder you know 92 still can't reach mild steel let alone a hardened high carbon steel which is well over 500. bronze on the other hand is 75 on the brunel scale so that's getting pretty close actually and this wouldn't be my channel if i didn't tie it in with historical arms and armor of course so i think this would be great for armor actually it's not as hard as steel but the density is also lower so you can simply make it thicker compared to a steel breastplate so you have certain room to increase the thickness you know basically until it gets too bulky to wear and move in effectively but otherwise you can probably do quite a bit with that if you just make a thicker a cuirass out of this hardened wood that might work quite nicely so what other applications are there of course plenty in the modern world in particular um, construction material so um it says here uh, it can easily be driven into wood plates and fix them together easily hmm seeing how delicately they handle this nail it makes me a little bit skeptical about this claim i have to say now don't get me wrong this is still very impressive. I mean, the planks and the hard nail are made of the same type of wood. So there's plenty of potential to upgrade more abundant softwoods to surpass even exotic hardwoods. Uh, if you think about it, you can get up to about six or seven Brunel hardness uh, in case of exotic hardwoods. Uh, maybe there are a few that are even harder. But uh, this hard basswood is 31 on the Brunel scale. So that's dramatically harder than even the hardest exotic woods we have. I have to say though, I think they need the input of a carpenter or a construction worker, someone with practical experience to really tell how well this works compared to steel nails. Like for example, how fast can you hammer them with steel nails? If, if you have enough practice, you can hammer them in, in one swing or maybe two or three. If you can't do that with those, because you have to be more careful that they, they might break, things like that, that would be important. So I think they were missing that uh, kind of real world input a little bit. Then there's a claim that a hardened wood table knife can be nearly three times sharper than most commercial table knives. Uh, now the problem is most commercial table knives are junk. We're talking butter knives. I did this uh, knife review of a butter knife as an April Fool's joke a while ago and yeah they are soft they are not supposed to be super sharp the way they're made so um, they measured the force needed to cut through polymer wire now either straight just pushing or with a slice and um, this is a great test setup but the steel knife if you want to call it that needed almost as much force to cut through as uh, plastic and unhardened wood the hardened wood one did much better with that kind of comparison no wonder really and here's another thing to consider it's true that harder material takes an edge better and retains it longer the edge on softer material deforms and abrades too easily to really stay sharp uh, but the blade geometry you know, the overall blade grind and sharpening technique makes a huge difference so this is what needs to be taken into account here because if you take a properly ground and sharpened steel knife versus the best you can do with this with this hardened wood you're going to see much more of a difference don't get me wrong i don't mean to downplay the usefulness of this method it's valuable research and amazing results there are just a few practical flaws that I see and I think it's important to be careful with how we frame things and to not you know exaggerate and all of that there's also 
a material science company called Wudu, I guess, in France. Uh, they've been working with a method of extracting lignin and replacing it with a different polymer, which uh, allows them to produce transparent wood, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is three, point, or three to five times stronger, uh, weatherproof, uh, more fire resistant, and uh, they've even combined electronics with a touch sensitive wood to make augmented wood dashboards. This is really neat. I also see lots of potential for fictional writing here. Imagine a solar punk setting, maybe, or high-tech elves that have all kinds of crazy gadgets made of this kind of treated wood. Or, I mean, it could also be living wood, I suppose, magic and all that. But this is really interesting to think about. Also, particularly with regards to what if historical scenarios, you know, like what if these people had this method of hardening wood, considering that it requires chemicals, that makes it a little bit tricky, but still interesting to think about. Like the potential for things like shields, uh, ax and pole arm handles, and in fact, tool handles for modern tools as well. Uh, things like javelins, arrows, clubs, etc. Considering that you might be able to get close to the hardness of bronze when using this method on hardwoods, that's pretty awesome, really. Uh, there are many interesting designs, war clubs from the Pacific Islands, for example, which would be very interesting to see made in this kind of material. Now there are, for example, sword-like serrated clubs, uh, which are already made of exceptionally dense hardwoods, but could potentially be hardened even more this way. This uh, new Caledonian phallic club, as it's called, uh, it's basically kind of a disc maze is what it looks like to me. That would be quite interesting of uh, really hard wood. And of course the Maori Taiyaha comes to mind, which is basically a club spear hybrid for both striking and thrusting. That would be great with a material like this. There's also fascinating Samoan designs with highly effective striking surfaces. And let's not forget, wooden armor already exists. For example, Aleutian rod armor and uh, slat armor from the Tlingit people of the Pacific Northwest. Also, this hardened wood could be molded. You know, remember, after you boil it in chemicals, it becomes soft and pliable. So you could press it into whatever shape you want. You could make like an anatomical cuirass out of it. And uh, there's a lot of amazing work with molded leather. So you could do something like this as well, just with wood. One thing I almost forgot, imagine transparent hardened wood shields. That would do away with one of the main disadvantages of a shield, the fact that it obstructs your vision. I mean, we already have transparent shields made of modern material, so there's that. How cool would it be to have a knife or a sword made of this hardened wood and test it out? I'd totally be up for that, just saying. Uh, in fact, I know several bladesmiths who I'm pretty sure would be more than happy to try this out. Like if they got a block of this hardened wood to grind into whatever shape, you know, be it a, a dagger or an axe or this and that and the other, that would be fascinating to try out. Anyway, I hope you found this video fascinating too, or at least informative, all of that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, check out Thorum Rings in the description down below. And um, yeah, have a good one, folks. Stay hard. Whatever. Just how far did I toss this thing? So I wanted to take two, then I gotta find another piece. Or, or I just say good enough. And in the editing I find some fatal flaw and beat myself up. And then I don't even have the piece of wood to beat myself up with, haha. -ha. Oh boy. <laughs> How far did I toss it? All right then. I have legit no idea. It's not where I expected. No, it went in the river, I think. It's not like there isn't plenty of wood to go around. <laughs> you know, ladies. Oh, shit. I'm a dumbass, but that's okay. I mean, in this case, it's okay. It didn't do any damage. I mean, it's a GoPro, for fluff's sake.
I really need a camera person. Send in applications. Actually, no, I don't have the budget for that. 